Hello, I'm Morris Dimba and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to work on power transmission or telecommun telecommunication towers. Welcome once again and let's get started. If you take a look on the screen, you can be able to see a grid already created. And what I'll just do now, I'll just double click on the grid just to show you the, the dimensions that are used. Now, I'll just go straight there and double click on the grid line. And this will bring up a grid property and from here you can be able to see all the all the dimensions used and from here you can also also see uh, the total height or the full height of our tower this tower will stretch all the way to 72 meters here you can see that 72 meters high in segments of six 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 meters now what i'll do is just close this because I've, I've shared that with you if you intend to use the same dimensions well and good now we'll, we'll, get, we'll get started and uh, we'll just uh, st start by placing our I'll call it columns we'll just start by placing the columns now I'll go straight here uh, under applications and component just type 63 and uh, this will bring to our member macro this is the macro we are going to use we are going to first of all to lay these four our main columns for our towers these four now I'll double click on it and once you double click on that macro you'll be presented with this window this window will be very important and this is where you will be you, you will be feeding in your your dimensions defining your full height of your tower now I'll go straight here first of all we need we will we, start with the first stretch of 36 meters now we we'll first of all need uh, an, an, an L profile or RSA angle or, or angle profile 6 6 meters uh, chopped into 6 6 meters or cut into 6 6 meters 6 times 6 6 6 6 this will take us to a height of 36 first height will be 36 now once we fed that 6 times 6 6 meters will come to parts here you can see in the L profile here you can also change that all this but remember the, mo the moment you click on this radio button will take you back to a profile catalog from that from the profile catalog you'll be, you'll be able to pick on the appropriate L, uh, RSA angle or ang uh, angle or L-shaped profile now I'll just I'm, I'm going to use the default which is an L-shaped or RSA now I'll go straight to para, uh, parameters here under parameters I want to define the length at the bottom end here now in, in this on the first stretch of the, of my height I'll need at the bottom end we, uh, we have this dimension we have eight meters eight meters here and uh, to the top here we'll have four meters we need four meters here we'll do the same thing here eight meters and here also we'll feed eight meters feed eight um, i mean uh, four meters not eight meters now once we are done with that we'll go we'll just go straight away and click modify modify that apply and accept now we'll go straight here and start laying our main columns for our transmission tower or telecom telecommunication tower now I'll just snap right there there we are and right click and I'll go to interrupt just to exit from that command you can see this we have our first height of 36 meters split into 666 meters now I'll, I'll come at the bottom end here and click on this just to disable the assembly so when I hover on my cursor on any member here you can see it's now I, I'm, I'm able to select a member chopped into six meters this is six meters that is six meters this also six meters this also six meters this also six meters now let me just bring back the assembly back and I'll go back to this macro I'll double click right there and I'll go to the second height of eight meters now what i'll do i'll change this to i'll change this i mean i mean 24 meters i'll change this to four now we'll have this six six meters running all the way 
to 24 meters. I'll go ahead and click apply or modify then apply and prior to doing that I'll come to parameters here and I want to change this to 4 meters at the bottom end here I'll fit, uh, change that to 4 meters then I'll come right here and change this to 2 meters at, at, at top here and I'll do the same thing here I'll feed 6 I mean 4 meters not 6 meters 4 meters and change this to 2 meters right here there we are and I'll go straight, uh, straight away and click modify I'll apply this and uh, put it into action by giving give, uh, clicking an, uh, an OK button right there now I want to place that height on top of this 36 meters now I'll just zoom close just bring it close and I want to snap right at the top end here let me just bring it close and I want to snap right at the top end right there and there we are I've placed I've added another height totaling to 60 36 plus 36 plus 24 that's uh, probably come to 60 meters now we still want to add 12 meters now what I'll do, I'll do once again, I'll go back to uh, uh, tower member macro, this macro here, I'll double click on it once again, and uh, I'll need another height here. This height will stretch, we just need now one, uh, or just uh, six meter, we just need six meter here, right there, and just type one right there, and click modify. I'll come to parameters here, and I'll change this to two meters, I'll change this to two meters right here change that to two meters and this one will change to 1500 here and also this one will change to two meters and I'll change this to 1500 right here 1500 once you've done that just go ahead and click modify apply that and give it an okay and uh, the settings will be put into action now I'll, I'll zoom close to this top end here where I intend to add another height I'll add that six meter on top here. There we are. That six meter is right there. You can see that. And again, I'll, I want to add another height of six meters. Remember, we, we, we are stretching all the way to 72 meters high. I'll double click once again on this macro and I'll come here and just add, just leave it at one and go straight here once you've done that just go ahead and click modify and I'll come to parameters here and uh, I'll come right here and change this to 1500 1500 and and uh, give that add 1500 and also the, the here and uh, click 1500 and add 1500 there we are I'll click modify apply and give it an acceptance there now i want another uh, add another height on top here now i'll zoom right on the top end here and i want to add another six meters totaling to 12 meters so when we add that 12 meters to 60 meters we'll come we'll have achieved our total height of 72 meters high now i'll snap on top of that i'll snap right there i'll snap right there and here we are we have our, our total height of six meters now if I come to navigate here and I want to rotate this you can see we, we have our height let me just click on empty screen and we can see that ready in place this is our full stretch our structure will be towering up to 72 meters high now let me just switch back to a uh, top view and you can see how it looks on top here the very top here is uh, 1.5 by 1.5 meters and the bottom end here is 8 8 8 meters now let me just switch back to my previous view and just go straight away and start connecting these these 6666 meters segments now to do that is very easy first of all we have to disable the assembly to disable the assembly first we have to come to this this button select object in the components 
select objects and components now I'll, I'll i'll click on this the moment you click on this will disable the assembly so now we can if you hover your if you mouse over any part of this they are selected individually not as a, as assembly and this will give us give us that opportunity just to uh, connect all the members together now i'll come here and applications and component and i'll type splice and to connect that using splice connection i'll scroll down let me just click on this and scroll down i'll come all the way to l splice i want to use l, l splice here and i'll click on l splice first of all let me just double click on it just to access its window and i'll be able to modify uh, that type of connection I'll, pre I'll use my I'll, I'll, cu I'll customize it and just double click on it on it once again now here we are we have our window here and if you take a look you can see th the far end here we cannot see and that's why we have this uh, tackle screen this is tackle screen uh, controller we can it, it help us in accessing windows that are stretching beyond our reach now i'll click on this window and click on the, the, this down arrow and i'll be able to access the top end here i have i have already my mm, my presets uh, i have my customized connection here l shaped now i'll just go straight here and pick on it and click load it will load all the settings that i placed now once i've done that or I can just go straight and uh, share this with you. You can see the settings that I used. These are the dimensions I used. And uh, that, is, uh, that is the ball size. You can change that if you want. And also the settings you can change. If you come to general, there's nothing there. Just leave it to default. Design, just leave it to default. The key part is the bolts and uh, parts here. You check the parts you want to use. Just check that. Uh, ch check that. Check this plate and check this uh, angle. You can leave it to default, or you can pick here the appropriate uh, profile that you intend to use on these connections. Now I'll come back to picture, and that is enough for me. And I'll just sc sc uh, scroll up, and uh, I'll be able to access the modify button and click modify. The moment you click modify, you are directing uh, tecla structure to use the settings that we just inserted that inserted into that macro window now I'll, I'll go ahead and apply that and give it a node here by clicking ok that screen will disappear and we'll just go straight away and start connecting these members i want to connect this and this here that has been connected and uh, we'll do all the same all the same thing here do that and just do it a little bit faster because we want to just to cut down on time and this will be marking the part one of our our presentation then uh, we'll proceed in the next presentation but let's just finish this let me just connect all this and come here also to connect on this connect all these members that and that we connected this and this must be connected and let's just check at the bottom end here if there's any that hasn't been connected let me just connect everything right there and we move up here we want to connect this one and this one and connect this and that we also want to connect this one and that one and we should not leave this one out zoom out and we target this uh, this far end and connect that member to the upper member and we connect this one also but remember once you've made your settings and uh, accept that that those are the settings you want to use and and uh, you press an ok button right there tecla structure will pick your settings as a default and will apply it in whichever joint or connection you intend to create between two members now I'll click on this and this and the connection will be, will, will be created and that and that will be connected and I want to create uh, connect this to that one and this one to this one I'll create connection between those two members and it'll come all all the way here and connect these two 
and connect this one to this one also connect this one to this one this one and this one that one and that one let's connect everything here perfect we're almost done here connect that to that connect that to that and connect this to this connect that one to that one come all the way here and connect this one to that one we are almost close connect that to that and we want to join this and that let's move up and connect this and that and connect this one and this one and there is nothing more to connect we'll right click and come right uh, click on empty screen right click and come to redraw just to remove all those active macro or uh, i mean the signs of active macro and if you bring this close you can be able to see how this connection perfect this is our connection and you come at the bottom end here and you can see this connection here already already placed you can see the angle here these are bolts these are our bolts already in place you can see that perfect Now, if I switch back to uh, plan view, you can be able to see this. You can have a look at this. You can see the view here. This is the view. The top view. This is the top view here. And uh, let me switch back to isometric view. We've not connected this one, which is not right. And we connect this. We connect that to that and connect connect this one to this one perfect and we should not forget this one right click and redraw we'll switch back to our plan view and uh, we'll wind up on uh, i mean at this stage and we'll pick it up in the next presentation where we'll start placing or bracing our uh, power transmission or telecommunication tower Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel and let's meet on the next presentation. I'm Morris Timba and bye-bye